So, Becky, you won the first ever women's main event in WrestleMania history. Yes. Becky Lynch is the sentimental favorite as she marches to the ring tonight to take on Charlotte Flair and Ronda Rousey. For people who are kind of maybe being introduced, what, what does that mean to you and, and how special is that? I think any, any wrestler, their ambition is always to be main event of WrestleMania. And, and for 35 years, it was seen as impossible beyond a pipe dream that a woman was going to main event WrestleMania. And so I wanted to main event WrestleMania, but I didn't want I didn't want to main event WrestleMania on a token gesture as in like, oh look, now we're giving the women a shot to main event WrestleMania. No, I wanted to be the main event because it was the hottest story and that there was no other story that could follow it. And I feel like I feel like we got there and I feel like it was it was the proper main event and um yeah, it's one of my biggest accomplishments. Shoulders down! Do it! Becky Lynch! Becky Lynch is the winner, take all, and is both Raw and SmackDown Women's Champion! Seth, what goes through your mind when you see your lady? Main event, WrestleMania. Oh, pure jealousy. <laughs> 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 no, she she mentioned, you know, anybody in our profession, their goal, I mean, my goal since I was four years old is to main event WrestleMania and to see her be able to do that uh, and really just smash through any expectations or any boundaries, limitations, whatever you want to call it, that have ever been set for women is pretty special. It was awesome to be a part of the show, awesome to be able to be there and support her and watch her in that moment. And Becky right to Lindsay oh, drops her off the apron of the floor. It's just, it was a groundbreaker. It set the tone for the future of, of females in our sport. And so, you know, it's one of those things that our daughter will look at at some point in her life. And hopefully it will be an example to her that she can do anything she sets her mind to. Oh, it's amazing. I know you were joking when you said jealousy, but I'm just, how, what, how, how do you do it? How do you guys? Feel like you were able to like overcome that navigate that it was hard for me at first to be honest with you i think because the business is so me first it's, it's very difficult to put somebody else on the same level as you even when it's your significant other and so it was a, it was a huge insecurity of mine and it really took some some pushing and pulling to, to get me to a different place mentally where i i was as supportive of her as i was of myself and the jealousy wasn't you know overwhelming but I mean I think it goes both ways I mean it's just it's you know and the business kind of ebbs and flows as well so mm -hmm. sometimes you're up sometimes you're both up sometimes one of you is down and it's just about trying to be there for each other support each other and be happy uh, for each other's success you know we're a team and so we got to be we got to treat it that way but like I said it's just it's not in the nature of pro wrestling to treat it as a team sport it's individual you know you've spent all these years working on you and your thing and your act and so to support an, a fellow competitor just feels against nature yeah but you know when it's someone you love and it's someone you want to see happy and when you see them in pain it's the worst thing in the world it makes it a lot easier to want to be there for them so it certainly was a difficult task for me she was much better at it than I was mm -hmm. <laughs> no, 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 because it, it does. Like you said, it, it ebbs and flows. And I think the important thing to do is be honest and um, and vulnerable in, in those insecurities and also let them know that it's, 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 it's not you, it's me. <laughs> it's me, I can't handle this right now. <laughs> and I think that's uh, that's been a big help. And um, and then, yeah, just, just trying to be happy, you know, and knowing that just because Somebody's somebody's up and somebody's not as quite quite as up. It all it all just comes around. We're yeah. all just going up together. You well, know? One one final thing I add to that is is <clears throat> as difficult as it can be when you start to kind of compare. It is the best because no one really understands what we do except for us. Yeah. Our lifestyle and our industry is so wild and out there. I mean, we're just crazy circus folk, you know, traveling the world, doing this professional wrestling, sports entertainment thing. And to have someone uh, with you every single day to be able to do this with your best friend makes it so much easier. You get that understanding and to understand where the other person is coming from all the time really helps you kind of put everything together. Is that your son? 
Damn, you grew up. Grew up watching The Rock, now yeah. on The Young Rock as Cindy Lauper. Yes. What, what, what was that experience like? Oh, it was brilliant. Oh, it was brilliant <laughs> to uh, take on the role of an icon. Yeah, like, it's a like very Cindy high L praise, by the way. Oh, yeah, uh, that was nice. I wanted um, to do her justice for the, the woman that she is, but also what she's done for our industry and how she helped bring wrestling into the mainstream with that rock and wrestling connection. So it was really <laughs> important that I could do her justice and not offend any New Yorkers and get that <laughs> voice right. And the octaves were a little bit hard, but as we can see, I've got range. I can She's be the got Batman. Range I can with be the voices. <laughs> yeah. I can be Cindy. I can do it all. What's with the face paint? It's exfoliating. What's with the voice? <laughs> Gotta run. Wait for the man cave. You guys did this kind of jokery promo. What went into this? It was so fun. Oh, we did a lot of work on the voice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, was, it was hard for me to get that register. I'm the man. Yeah. There, 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 there it is. is. Now it's natural. There it is. <laughs> I've seen a lot of comments of people being like, Seth should play the Joker because of your laugh. <laughs> I'm curious if that, yeah, did, was that happening before this promo? Yeah, no, the laugh is always existed. I don't know where it came from. It's just, uh, it was a <laughs> So good. Yeah, just one of those things. It's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Those are some big shoes to fill. Uh, but there's, you know, there's so many good portrayals of the Joker. That's what like I'm saying. Is, that's a lot. They're all, they're all bangers. I'm scared to follow. Well, you Heath know. Heath Ledger. You give him a little Jack taste. Nicholson, a Joaquin taste, Phoenix. A that's a lot. That's some, you know? those are some, some it's Hall of so Famers, good. man. Those are some special cats. I don't know. I don't know. Right. I can dance the dance. I don't know if I can walk the walk. You got the purple <laughs> suit on and everything. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Very much so. Very ode to Jack, uh, Jack Nicholson. Yeah. Well, Becky, I really want to see you in some kind of superhero film. And there was like this rumor that you shot something for Eternals. Is that true? Can I say, I don't know if I can say that that's true. <laughs> okay. I suppose it's, it's that true. That says a lot. It's <laughs> true, I just don't know if I can say that it's true. Yeah. It's true. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, can I say that? I don't know, I don't know. I mean, Marvel I feel like it's like, Marvel are very gone. secretive. Like... It is gone, it is gone. But we don't know about sequels. Yeah. So. Oh, I wanna see it, I wanna so. know more, but. So, yeah, I, don't I don't get know. you in trouble. What are you allowed I don't, to say I, I, I before somebody know. comes through the door I don't know and what takes I'm, you out in yeah. shackles? I don't know, we all man. <laughs> you end up you end in some that. galactic prison somewhere. <laughs> Star-Lord watching over you. Oh, God. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I can say there. I can't stop thinking about WrestleMania. How are we feeling about this weekend? Feeling ready. Feeling ready. Feeling ready. She's got her belt. I came dressed like <laughs> yes. a freaking flamenco dancer. I'm ready. <laughs> Yeah, it's Hollywood, baby. It's uh, the biggest WrestleMania of all time. It's gonna be huge. Two nights. It's it's. Uh, we're ready. I mean, we're dressed for the occasion. So yeah, it's good. It's gonna be a party. Yeah. Y'all live here, right? We do. Yeah, so what is it like to have? You know, you can kind of be in your town and not be traveling around oh. the globe for once. <laughs> oh. it's such a luxury. You can sleep in your bed. <laughs> to be able to go and do WrestleMania, WrestleMania in SoFi Stadium, and then come home and sleep in our own bed. Just uh, stop the lights, yeah, don't yeah. get any better than that. And having to be able, you know, a, a home base to be able to just get there and be grounded, it's very nice. And That's also nice. not bring the baby on another plane. It's so very nice. How old is she? Two? Two, two and a half. So you you guys travel with her all the time? Yeah, yep, yep, everywhere we go. Where What's her passport look like? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty crazy. She's probably gonna need another one in a couple of months. Uh, is that typical, like do other families bring their kids along or you guys I think we started the trend <laughs> yeah we started the trend and now there's a few more jumping on the on the bandwagon um but it's great it's great you get the best of both worlds I mean, the kid's like, oh yeah, I grew up with the, in the wrestling world. Yeah. I hope I hope that she has a positive spin on it when she gets <laughs> older. My concern is she goes the other direction with it and we get blamed for everything. This is why my life is a mess. I think that's <laughs> inevitable, no matter what, to be fair. Touche, touche. At least we'll have some good pictures. Yeah. So you both have matches day one, WrestleMania. Seth, let's start with you. You're going up against Logan Paul, who's landed this one lucky punch uh, twice. Yeah. <laughs> uh, where's your head at going into this weekend? <laughs> uh, you know, pretty good. My track record at WrestleMania is strong, I will say. Uh, I think I'm going into my 10th WrestleMania now. Um, I I've had a lot of incredible moments at WrestleMania. I expect to add Logan Paul to that list. And look, the, the lucky punches were 
there were cheap shots. Let's be honest. There wasn't there just mano shots. a mano. It wasn't just one on one. Shots. It wasn't in the middle of a match. It was a brawl. There was somebody pulling me off. I'm not making any excuses. This kid's got a hell of a right hand. Dropped me a couple times, but WrestleMania is going to be different. When it's bell to bell inside that squared circle, nobody's better than me. So I'm going to raise his level and then I'm going to beat him. Do you think Logan Paul's going to stick around? You know what? I don't know. He's an interesting cat. You know, he's got a, he's got his hand in a lot of a lot of different things out there. Um, we'll see. I, I, I I'm gonna beat him. I, I might beat him bad enough that he doesn't want to stick around. I, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see where his mind's at. He's a young kid, bright future ahead of him. Whatever he wants to do in life, um, if he wants to stick around and be a part of WWE, um, we'll see. We'll see if he's if he's ready to pass the real test. So how about us three versus you three at WrestleMania? Becky, the build up to this six woman match with damage control yes. has been excellent. Um, where are you at going into this weekend? Since How you it's been going on since since SummerSlam, since they took out my shoulder, since they left me not being able to take care of my kid when he was off on the road. I had to call in help, I wasn't able to pick her up. Um, and so when somebody's done something like that to you, you, you think of all the ways you're going to destroy them once you get back <laughs> on your feet. So now, at WrestleMania with myself, Lita, and Trish Stratus, all three of us, three legends going in there together. It's got to be the end. It it's ends this be weekend. The end. It, it, it ends this weekend. WrestleMania weekend rules. I mean, it's just such a celebration of our industry, and you know, people will say what they want about it, but I love it. I just think it's one of the coolest sort of forms of entertainment there is. There's just nothing like it. It combines all the elements, and uh, it's a business that's really given me everything that I have in my life, you know, I grew up in a small town of a thousand people in rural Iowa, and now here we are sitting on the set of Entertainment Tonight, I'm with my beautiful wife who I met through the sport. We were talking about our beautiful daughter, talking about the, you know, biggest stadium in North America, uh, and we're about to have this two-night event, and so, really, WrestleMania weekend is just about celebrating this industry that's given us all so much, so I'm just happy to be a part of it. I can't say anything better than that. <laughs>